Hey, Bice Band, I'm here today to work on rhythm dictation with you. Uh, in previous levels, you may have seen rhythm performance. This is a new challenge, and I'm doing rhythm dictation in a way today that is going to apply to several different levels. So you're going to have to make sure that you check your instructions to see how many completed you need to have, how many errors, and how many hints. Now, uh, what, one thing you're going to notice on here, and I'm doing the one that's in level five today, but, but harder levels may have different requirements, um, that you need to complete 30 with 10 errors allowed. And I'm going to show you a strategy today to try to minimize the number of errors that you have in this activity. Um, just adding things directly into the game as you play can really cause errors to stack up quickly. So this is a really important strategy and one that I think is really going to help you. I really want you to follow it. Um, now you're going to notice it seems like, whoa, Mr. Ludington put a huge number of hints in. And the reason that I put 300 here is that every time you listen to the rhythm, um, you're going to get charged a hint for that. So beyond the first time it's played, every time you hit play rhythm again, it, it costs you a hint. And I want you to listen to each of these rhythms several times. So basically for 30 to complete, I'm giving you 10 times for each rhythm to listen to it. And it, it may not be that you need 10 times for each, but I'm giving you plenty of listenings so that you don't have to feel like you need to save those. You can keep using them to make sure that you get the correct answer. So uh, what rhythm dictation is going to ask us to do is the opposite of what rhythm performance is meaning that you are going to get um, a rhythm played for you and you are going to have to write down what you hear, which is why listening to it several times is really important. For this activity, I want you to have a piece of paper and a pencil. Uh, pencil's important here because um, you're going to want to be able to change your answer. Um, if you only have a pen available, obviously you can cross things out and write again, but I just personally, I like pencil. I think it's the best option. So let's go ahead and do a couple together. Now, the first thing you're going to see is two measures. And so the rhythm that you're going to be writing down here is going to be a total of eight beats long, four beats for each measure. You're also going to have four beats of a um, click track at the beginning that's going to play the tempo for you. And that's going to show you how fast the beat is going. Now, in rhythm dictation, the options for the notes that you are going to see, if you look at my cursor, are down below. And in easy, we have quarter notes, half notes, and whole notes. Those are the only options that you are going to hear. So the notes that you're going to listen for are either one beat, two beats, or four beats as this plays. The way that you're going to determine how long those notes are is by tapping your foot. I think that's the best way to do this. I want you to try this in your strategy. So um, the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to listen and tap our foot the first time. Because, again, I gave you plenty of hints to use. I want you to make sure that you listen to this several times. So pencil down for a second, tap your foot, and listen. Okay, so as I'm listening to that, I'm tapping my foot and I get the tempo of this from the higher pitched clicks at the beginning. Those are four of those. The rhythm that you are figuring out are the lower pitched kind of cowbelly sounding clicks that happen next. And because I'm tapping my foot, I can count the number of foot taps that I have for each of those gaps. And what you're listening for is, is there a note that's being played on the beat when my foot is hitting? Or is there silence on the beat when my foot is hitting? For the gaps, gaps in, in the played notes mean either half notes or whole notes are being used. If there's a click for every time my foot hits the ground, well, that means that there is a quarter note being played there. So again, this time I'm going to take my pencil and paper. Uh, this time I'm going to start to rough draft out what I'm hearing. Now, I know from listening to this the first time that there are definitely going to be some notes that are longer than a quarter note in here. So I'm starting to get a theory together. OK, 
Okay, so I'm I'm going to say out loud, just in case you can't hear my foot tapping on the floor as I play this again, um, I'm going to say out loud my foot taps. I'll just say tap so you can hear both the rhythm that's being played and my what my foot's doing. Um, I can tell you right now that by listening to the first measure, I believe that there is a whole note in the first measure. That's what I put on my paper because I tapped my foot four times for that note. So let's try that again. I'll say tap as I go. Tap, 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 tap. So what I put on my paper as I wrote this down, I wrote down a whole note and then I wrote down two half notes. And that's because I counted four foot taps for the first note and then I counted two foot taps for each of the next two notes. And when I put a whole note, which is four beats, along with two half notes, which are two beats each, four plus two plus two is eight. And that's the number of beats that I need here. So let's check that. Before I put anything into Tone Savvy, I'm going to check my draft to make sure it's correct. Tap, 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 tap. 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 So as I'm listening to that, I confirm, yes, it's definitely a whole note followed by two half notes. I'm tapping my foot every time. I've got my rough draft on the paper. Now that I know from checking it that it's correct, now I go ahead and put it in, and I can either click on the notes themselves, or I can hit one for a whole note, three for a half note, and W for a quarter note. So whole note is correct, and it tells you, look, right, half note, half note. Okay, let's do one more together. And again, I've got my pencil and paper ready. First time, tap my foot and listen only, no writing. Ooh, this one's interesting. And you have to pay really close attention. I'll tell you why in a second. I'm going to start writing on my, my paper, and I'm going to rough draft this out. I'm going to start that process. There's definitely more notes here than the last rhythm. And there's a tricky little ending to this, which is why tapping your foot is so important. Tap, 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 tap. Now, did you notice that at the end of that, there was a, a beat that I said tap at the very end, the last beat of the rhythm. I said tap and there was nothing played. Now here's what's sneaky about that, is that, that that last note is definitely a half note. And if you're not tapping your foot, you might miss that there's a beat there at the end that you need to account for. So that's where tapping your foot is going to really help you here. Okay, now I'm going to take that pen pencil and paper. I'm going to start putting this together. Um, I'm going to tell you what my rough draft is going to be after listening to this one more time. I've got a pretty good idea of, of what I'm putting. Like, I think my first measure right now I've got as a half note and two quarter notes. So let, let's see how my rough draft's doing so far. Tap, 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 tap. Aha. Uh -huh. So because I'm starting to figure out a couple things, I can start to put this together. I said that I thought that a half note and two quarter notes was the first measure. That's what I've got on my paper. I just listened to that again. I can, for my first measures, right. And I told you my, my thought that the end is a half note. I listened to that again. It is definitely a half note. Again, I only know that because I'm tapping my foot. And that's, that's why you need to do that too. Um, I believe because... The first measure is a half note and two quarter notes. That, that's, that's confirmed and checked. That the next two notes after that are two quarter notes. That's the beginning of my second measure. And then a half note at the end. So my rhythm is going to be, follow my cursor, half note's going to be here. Quarter note, quarter note. Quarter note, quarter note. Half note. So let's check that. That's my rough draft. And let's see if that's right. So I checked it. I like it. It matches. 
now's the point I'm going to go ahead and put these in. Half note, quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, half note. There is my correct rhythm. Now, you'll notice that I used up six hints for the two of those, and I listened to them several times each. I gave you plenty of hints. Use them. Listen to this as many times as you need to to keep your errors down and the number that you completed up. Um, as you get some momentum on these, you may find that you got a better memory for the rhythm um, in your head. So being able to hear it and then being able to play it back in your head is going to really help you here. So again, the more practice you get on these, the, the easier they're going to get. Um, as always, keep an eye on your errors. If you go over on the errors, hit your stop quiz button, hit submit best or submit best effort, send that data back to me. If you complete this automatic, so if you complete this successfully, it will automatically end, and you'll be able to hit the submit results button to check it off. Uh, remember that you can visit my office hours if you have questions. You can always email me, or my really like my favorite uh, here for help anytime is to use the Tone Savvy Support Request form, and I will see that and be back with you to answer your question. So good luck, game on.